Yo, it's the last Artful Dodger, and you're watching my interview with Miles. You got a brand new song out. Hot. Hot. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first saw the artwork, it was looking like Looney Tunes to me, you know? Woo. Okay, that's yeah, a good yeah. sign. Yeah, uh -huh. is, that, is that the wavelength you're working with? So, yes and no. Have you ever seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yes. So, it's a combination of those two. If you take a closer look at the tile, okay, then that's from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The okay. stove is from that, but we can't tell Disney or anything. Yeah, Let's, yeah. This is just between yeah, yeah, but between us and that camera yeah, that's looking at you right absolutely. now. Yeah. <laughs> but the art is pretty much supposed to break the fourth wall, which is what Who Framed Roger Rabbit does. Yeah. So, yeah, the whole Looney Tunes... You know, psychedelic -y, but very much yeah, and it's, in the 3D. It's working. I mean, a lot of the yeah. stuff that you've put out in the past has been well thought through. Yes. So obviously we have Bone Music, which wow. came out, what, 2016? 2017, 2017, yeah. 2017. Mm -hmm. And then Fragments came out before that. Fractures, Fractures yeah. Fractures, And it. all of that stuff um, was really like collab work. Yeah. I don't consider that like my, like just my stuff. Okay, you know? okay. It's hard to... Um, take claim to a universe that you didn't create yeah. entirely i mean it's one of those situations where like because you were involved in it right you can claim that as yours but yeah. then if you feel like this is like a second wave of your music absolutely yeah this is the wave of my music this is the wave that i planned of my music okay all of that other music was completely unplanned and came out of nowhere yeah, yeah. and which is why like my name fits all of that stuff it is the last artful because I'm allowed to experiment. Yeah, yeah. And I'm allowed to play and just be like, here's a wave, here's a wave, here's a wave. But all of it is planned out, but mm. except for that. <laughs> I hear that. You know, talk about the name as well, though, yeah. before you break that down. So yeah. Artful Dodger, for you, was like, you're artfully dodging situations, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm my mom's last child in the artful one of the two. Okay. Right? Yeah. So growing up, I would, you know, going from dodging bullets to dodging f's or bad grades because i'm a real ass i'm a real person yeah, so if you want to swear yeah <laughs> you know do your thing, yeah. <laughs> i'm a rab i'm a real ass bitch yeah. so like i like that um yeah i dodge a lot because i am upfront and honest and yeah. the universe is on my side how about that so far it's been on my side may it continue to be that way may it continue please please <laughs> but you know what's mad in the UK we already have an artful dodger you know no I know the DJ yeah 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 and I'm not artful dodger so I'm the, the last we, artful we need to <laughs> we need to tell people that because you know people when they look at streams and stuff sometimes they look at it and be like oh well that's, that's is that the DJ no yeah people yeah. are confused and so for me I want people to know that the last artful is a handle right yeah it's a tag so if you go find me on Instagram it's the last artful it's mm. at the last artful but my name is dodger yeah yeah so it makes sense it makes sense it's like Tyler the creator if there's true. somebody out there who's called the creator, they're not Tyler the creator. It's true. So there's Artful Dodger, but you're not the last Artful. And Dodger, I'm Dodger. Facts. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? It's just one of those situations where sometimes some people just need to know. So exactly. we're letting them know right now. Right now. Javi. That I respect the DJ duo, or the DJ, that I respect the clothing brand, Artful Dodger. Was that Jay-Z's back in the day? No, it wasn't his, but he was like affiliated before Rock before Rockefeller, I feel. Yeah. Was Rock Aware. Gosh, why don't I know? This is a while back anyway. It is. Yeah, this yeah. is a long time ago. Like, oh, three. Time. Man, 17 years ago now. Woo. It's, it's not, let's, let's not do no throwbacks. Let's, let's, it's not throwback let's, Thursday let's right not, now. No, let's not talk about our childhood. I mean, I was going to move on to that though. Oh man. <laughs> I was about to segue, <laughs> segue right through to that one. <laughs> but like, obviously you came from, you come from LA. Yes, born and raised. Yep. And then your brother was quite an integral figure yeah. in the area. Yes. And basically you had kind of had protection in yeah. the area because of what your brother was was exactly yeah. and that was so long ago you know and he's definitely like disconnected from that but i was protected and i was kind of like a i'm not gonna say like a princess of the hood yeah, but yeah. people knew me and i didn't know most of these people mm. you know it was like being a hood celebrity as a child mm. and that was crazy for me it's it was crazier back then than it is now because yeah, yeah. back then i i didn't ask for it i didn't put myself out there it's just like who you're affiliated with Mm. I mean, how did that help shape the kind of the music and what you were kind of growing up around? Because that's one, especially growing up in the hood, that's one less worry to think about. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You would think it's one less worry, but you just never know. Um, for me, my whole life experience is, uh, how do I put it? 
it's all in my music. So, of course, the action that took place in my neighborhood growing up is a major part of the new music that I'm creating right now. Yeah. Not necessarily the music that you're about to hear. Okay. Right? Because I'm a person who wants everything to be told in the manner that I want it to be told. Yep. So I'm not going to give everything out this first album. But come like two or three, yep. you're going to start hearing the true story yeah. and like all of this action and the deeper meaning not the deeper meaning but like going in deeper into yeah like me seeing my brother get shot at this age or me talking to my crackhead cousin or you know just yeah the thick of it i mean it's important to kind of do that and not give too much away because exactly a lot of people might you know when they're coming with this first project now mm-hmm. like you said this is you, you want to show everyone what you're about. Right. It's sometimes hard because once you had such a, say, a, a, let's put it, we're predicting the, predict the future, mm-hmm. that one's going to do amazing. It is, it right? is. Yeah. We're hitting him up with that and then you come to the next one, you've kind of said everything you want to say already and people are like, but we heard that. Exactly. Where, where, where's the next thing? And so I've always thought of it that way, right? Watching people release their first albums and yeah. them saying everything they have to say because you've had your whole life mm. to think about this album. Do you know what it is though? You have to think about how much you're willing to give and how much you're willing to hold back exactly yeah, yeah and that's where i'm at i'm i'm already working in that direction big strategies there you go yeah. i mean the thing is right now you're seeming very locked in and very focused and you goal. have to be yeah 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 because i know what i want and i know where i want to be and i know how i want to impact people Listen, and i know how i want to impact myself so. you're, you're doing better than a lot of artists right now <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? so shout let's out go, to you miles hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um let's talk about some of the people you worked with as well mm-hmm. and how maybe they help kind of get us to the point we're at now Ooh, yeah so, you know sir as well you worked with him wow. shout did, out to sir you did your research i know you know <laughs> <laughs> but like obviously you've got like sir i think let's talk about the la scene in general right because there's a lot of different parts of LA and most of the time people kind of just think of like one space and say everyone's from there. Right. Especially if you're not from America and you just, you're not a real deeper level fan of hip hop or mm-hmm. black music in general. Right. But right. even someone like D Smoke. Wow. Shout out to D Smoke. Yeah. yeah. That, his rise is crazy to watch. 2006 yeah. was his first project. I think. Exactly. Yeah. And he just dropped one within the last two weeks Man. and it's 14 years on the ground. Exactly. Like, when you're kind of seeing that, obviously, I don't know if you're from the same, like, close... He's from Inglewood. I'm yeah. from L.A. proper. Okay. Yeah. How close is that? You know, it's not too far. It's probably, like, a 20-minute drive. Okay, so it's not It's even still a... L.A. County. Okay, yeah. fair, fair. Yeah. See, I'm learning my geography at the same time right now. I mean, it's it's the same thing. It's like a suburb, you know. Fair. Yeah. So, like, seeing people like that who have been on the come-up for a long time, how, mm-hmm. when you look at that, has that kind of thought to yourself, like, yo, this is amazing. Like, I want to be in the same... You know, what's crazy is I went to college in Northern California. Yeah. So I was away from the action of like the Sir, Tehran and Aomari, Dumbfounded, Anderson Pack, like them making music. Yeah. I wasn't a part of that. Okay. And it wasn't until a couple years ago, right, that I started even getting connected with that yeah. L.A. musician community. And it's funny that it happened when I lived in Portland that they brought me back down to LA. That's crazy. It is really crazy. And watching Anderson's rise, he's been doing this for over a decade. Well, let's talk about Breezy Lovejoy. Breezy Lovejoy, exactly. Like starting from that and being able to transition and never giving up on yourself. He is one of my biggest inspirations. I was trimming weed in Humboldt County in 2015 and listening to Venice and being like, man, I'm so mad. This is the album that I wanted to make. Two and a half years later, I'm working with him on his album. It's nuts. Nutty. It's, the like, big, it's crazy when you think about that. When you think about like how time works and how things work in your favor if you don't quit, if you don't stop. Yeah. And that's just what I've realized is like I, I can't give up on me because I'm going to run into the people that I'm supposed to yeah. eventually. You I mean, know? even being on the track with Snoop and Anderson. Crazy. Like, were you in the studio at the time making that or? I was in the studio with Anderson making yeah. that and I had flown back to Portland and he FaceTimed me at like okay. three o'clock in the morning. I did not answer, but he texted me and was like, sis, I'm in the studio with Snoop right now. He's going to lay a verse. And I'm like, 
damn it, I'm mad I missed yeah, that yeah. FaceTime. I mean, like, it's 3 a.m. though. Yeah, and like, I looked at him, I'm like, am I going to answer this? Nah, no. I put it down. <laughs> Love you, no. Listen, you regret it now, so next time if you get a 3 a.m. Next time, exactly, yeah. E- exactly. But that was crazy and super surreal. Everything's been surreal. Mm. My first session ever as like a professional was with Mark Ronson, Christina Aguilera, and Anderson Pack. What year was this? It was September 2017. Okay. So this is literally kind of fairly, fairly This is recent. all new. This yeah. is all new. Your if, debut tape was what? 2013? Yes, that time. 2013 yeah, yeah, yeah. was my first and only mixtape. Yeah. 1990 Neverland. So you've kind of got to that point where you've had that a little bit of experience, but the now we're talking bit. about like legit 30 experience here. If you like think about it and look at my trajectory, it almost makes no sense mm. because one would think that I didn't have much experience, but it's like being on the level of like LeBron James when you're in middle school yeah. and you know you're that good, but no one's around to watch you. Yeah. And finally, someone's watching me and they give me an opportunity. And that's Mark Ronson. Mm. Shout out to Mark, because if it weren't for him and like having that real belief, then I wouldn't have this kind of attention right now. Yeah, Not, yeah. I would have it eventually, but like he sped up longer. the process. Yeah, of yeah. course. Like if you think about Mark Ronson as well, so you've got the tune, Love was it Truth? Truth, yeah. With Alicia Keys on that one as well. Mm-hmm. And then you've got the song that was on Spies in Disguise. Crazy, Freak of, of Nature, Freak of Nature, Freak of Nature. Yeah. Yeah, Ilse Juber co-wrote that too. Which yeah. is it's nuts when you think about like the exposure, like you said, that Mark's kind of, given you so far but then at the same time people give opportunities but you have to take them as well you have to take them show up for them and show out yeah and that's what i do every time like i'm not gonna like discard an opportunity of course yeah i mean for this this year then 2020 crazy what is the plan then what how are we gonna go from sitting here so then next thing you know you're at the o2 or you're doing a madness everyone knows your name and stuff like that or what's your thought process right now the thought pr- process is just to get through each day and yeah. to do as much as I possibly can to make it to that next level because I couldn't have told you that I'd be here having this interview yeah. seven months ago. I would I would have thought like, yeah, that could happen, mm. but I wouldn't know for sure. And everything is proper timing. Everything is like just keeping your nose to the ground and working through the pain all of it yeah it doesn't matter you just got to keep working and know that like something's bound to pop up and yeah. something's bound to take off especially being as good as i am that too facts. having the braggadocious swag too facts like <laughs> so for people who are listening right now or watching this as well and you kind of hit us with different vibes across all the music that you've had oh, so yeah. far yeah so how it's hard i don't like putting people in boxes because that's long like yeah. no one's got time for that but if someone was to say okay the last half of the job, how could I describe her? Where where would you put yourself? I'm not putting you in a box. I'm just saying the box is all open. I'm just saying, where would you kind of go? Um, You know, I'm one of these hybrid artists. Mm. So the box doesn't count. Yeah. And especially when like I'm genreless. So I'd say the last artful Dodger is totally unexpected. And everything that you hear will be something that you didn't expect to hear. So you're in Pandora's box. I am. There you go. I am Pandora. We should just change my name. <laughs> I mean, that's look, market will be annoyed at you for that one. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Fine. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> so like, obviously as well, some people might not know that you have two degrees. Yeah. So one's in anthropology, which yes. is the study of humans for those who don't know. Yes. And the other one was in journalism. Journalism yeah. with an emphasis in public relations. And you also you did graphic design as well. Yeah. Yeah. So like with all of this. And stuff, radio. And radio. Now, <laughs> listen, you can switch it around, you know. <laughs> yeah. But like with all of that experience, because a lot of sometimes artists maybe you are just out of their bedroom doing their thing. Then they come and then they get mad exposure. Sometimes it's too much for them. But for you, you had a lot of, you had a study of humans, which is also a good thing in the first place because yes. the human mind is very simple and very complex at the same time. Mm-hmm. I don't know where we're going right now, Discovery <laughs> Channel, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but also you've had all the media experience. So yeah. with all of that, how has that kind of helped shape you to be who you are today? Honestly, everyone around me helps shape who I am because I'm a true believer in energy, right? So <laughs> I guess like the study, what, what, can you 
ask me that question again. I just got completely Listen, was, distracted. We, we just, I just read this is a paleontology <laughs> deep discovery channel. Sheesh. Let's say, how, how about all the experiences in media and studying humans and that the part. uni degree and that help shape who you are today? I'm so glad I remember and that. And so myself. that's that's the part right there is that like everybody helps shape who I am. Yeah. From like a trash interaction to like one like this that's yeah. like completely open and allows me to just be who I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, just people need to socialize and that's the only way that you're gonna like either better yourself or become a worse person. I don't even know. Mm. I don't know how to put that. But <laughs> Are you big on social media or? I'm big on this. I'm big on one-on-one -on -one interaction. Yeah, much and better. considering the fact that like, I don't know, I'm a millennial, so like a lot of us and Gen Zers are addicted mm. to social media. And I'm definitely addicted in a way that like I'm trying to wean myself off of it. And I'm trying to use it in a way that's going to benefit me and not so much, you know, hinder my progress as yeah, a yeah. human and my human development. Do you know what it is? It's hard. To, basically, <clears throat> all you have to do is just not get lost in it. And it's yeah. easier said than done. But all you have to do is wake up in the morning, go to Twitter, catch a couple of memes, get out of there, go live your life. That's I, how I do it. I mean, how many of us say, I got to get off the internet? Every day. Listen, I how did, many times does that happen? I did that years ago. I'm fine now. Like, I, I'll jump. I'll jump in. But for most part, for me, I'm here to little post my little picture. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm gone. I like the first three scrolls on Instagram, and I'm out. I'm That's very it. jealous of that. I'm super jealous. Um, mm. because I'm not that person. It takes. I'm either on it all day or I'm not on it at all. Fair. Right. And considering we have to use it for work. Yeah, that's why and you, that's interacting why you're smart. and you know. listen that's why you like you have your, your set people there exactly you have your preferences they get the notifications Facts. and you're gone that's it that's real but i also have this um motto that's better safe than social so it's like better safe than social media better safe stacking your money yeah and then going out and being social you know so i don't know i hope to spread that for people who are like extroverted introverts because that's what i am i hear that and i like that I yeah i'm a about super infp Let's talk about one final thing as well. Okay. As you're in, uh, nothing too serious. Nothing too serious. <laughs> I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it down nicely. As this, is it the first time you've been in England before? Or is mm. this? It's my second time. Technically, second time. I was here three weeks ago working with someone. Was that with Mark Ronson? No, it was with someone else. Oh, uh, that's deep. Who's we incredible. Gonna, we ain't gonna find out until we get the other right? facts. <laughs> <laughs> but like, how are you find in England and this whole different experience? Because what's Portland like to London if we're comparing it and Portland so and London are very similar to each other I actually had someone who works at Interscope tell me that Portlandia was one of their favorite shows because Shortage reminds them so much of Portland okay. the skit where like the sun comes out for a split second and everyone runs to that one spot that the sun is at <laughs> take off your shirt like just bask in the sun that is Portland apparently it's Shortage too honestly it's not that much different except like the buildings are older, there's more culture, and the streets are more narrow. Is that London or Portland? Here. Okay, if I get this, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, you know, because Portland's only been around a couple hundred no, years. No, Portland's not old at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And America's not old. And that's the sucky part about being from the US is like, you know, we don't have this. Yeah, but we, the thing is, I feel like that's true. And yeah. obviously the history of the US is a bit of Mazza, a bit of a Mazza one too. Man, but man. that's why you're here to create the history. Facts. And that's also why I'm here to come back home. Because so many people from the States forget that like this is our fucking motherland too. Mm. Like as much as the British colonized <laughs> Everywhere else in the world, we ran away. Americans ran away it's from true. their mom it's because true. they didn't want the queen to linger over their potential. How about that? I know. And yeah. I, I can't believe we've got, we got here. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've gone so far left from music to we went to the history channel, we've got the geography channel, discovery channel. I mean, that's a conversation with me. So I mean, it's been a good conversation. Factoid. We've got to leave it here for now. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, before you leave though. All right. What, what can we hear from? When can we hear from you this year? I'm just. I'm you can hear from me as soon as possible. I can't give away a date though. <sighs> I can't give you a date. So like, I was, I was asking in such a vague way, making it a summer, spring. But yeah, fall. there we go. I said three. Exactly. You said there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll have to leave it there because I'm gonna get anything out of it. Not a thing. Last <laughs> off, thank you for chatting to me today. Thank you, Miles. Appreciate it. <laughs>